<laughs> okay, so this is your school's computer lab for 200 students. And I'm right in thinking only three of these four machines are working currently? Um, if I had to be very precise, only two of them are working. The other system has a problem last week. Okay. So, at what, what causes the problems? Is it dust here or um, is it just age? Maybe heat. Uh, number one is the uh, age of the system, the yeah. already old system. Number two is the heat. Yeah. Uh, especially during summer, only for the past three or four days we got this nice weather. It's extremely hot here. Yeah. And the number four is the uh, dust and other things. Yeah, sure. So, in terms of broadband, yeah. you, broadband is readily available to you That's and right. electricity is readily available. That's right. That's not your problem. The problem is the machinery is not up to scratch. That's right. And, and so if you had a computing solution that would allow you to deal with the heat and the dust um, and you were on the internet, you would be able to let your students, you would, you would want them to spend more time on the computers. How many computers would you ideally like if you were dreaming? How many computers would you ideally like? Uh, because our thing is we got at least 20 students per class. Okay. So it would be good at least two or three, um, uh, sorry, one system per three students. Sure. So that two or three can sit around that's each. That's right. That's right. And Maximum three per uh, what, computer. Why would having the internet assist you and your school? Just what you told me a minute ago. Oh, if you just repeat what you said. Uh, okay, for this internet, there are some other uh, agencies which are producing the softwares or the study materials. And the thing is, they don't produce it on CDs or pen drives. They give it online. So you okay. can freely download it and make it use of it. There are so many things. There are uh, illustrative uh, things available. There are study materials, yeah. example, question papers, those kind of things available. And do you think that computing and, and your students being used to working with computers is an important part of them being able to better their lives as they get older? Definitely. In this modern world, everything is dependent on this one machine. Yeah. So it's, of course, uh, the uh, best thing that we can give to our students yeah. is computers. Do you think and it's one of the most important things then? The most, the most. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Cheers.